Okay, so I set up the tonic body as well. Um, I've added the head uh, and it was way too big for the tonic neck. So I've shrunk down the head. I moved versus around. I did all kinds of things to the head to have it fit on the neck. I did not turn, uh, touch the neck down because I don't want to alter the developer kit itself, but the head I can do whatever I like to. So I just moved vertices around until it looked sort of nice. There was some overlapping stuff in, stuff in here as I got it fixed, um, but it's, I think it's okay now. I also removed the mouth and the teeth. Mm. And the hands are actually attached to the body on the tonic kit, so that was good, but I did um, merge the feet in here. Merging the feet went really easily because uh, the auto merge of, of up here was perfect for that. Mm, it was less perfect here, but it, it worked out. It worked out. Um, I, I was not in here connecting, was I? I forgot. I might have been. Um, but anyway, that's how it looks now. Uh, all the meshes are okay. I deleted the Avastar rig that came with it, uh, as I did on the other developer kits, and then I added the Bento um, old basic rig, and I wig painted fingers and head to move with this, and then I removed all the vertex groups I didn't need, so face and hands and wings and hind legs and tail and spine. I'm not sure if I removed spine. Well, there's none, so that's okay. Um, and I need to fix materials, I guess. There's only one, so that's fine. I could just keep that. I just like to have one that's named the same as all the others. So she's ready now. I haven't posed her because I don't know what uh, which pose is the optimal for tonic. I haven't tested this yet, so I just wanted to show you. Um, so I know that Maurice Designer likes that we lower the shoulders. Uh, on the other developer kits, we ended up with the shoulders lowered somewhere around 20, 25 degrees. So let's try with 20. I think that was what I used for the Maurice Designer. Whoop, hang on. Let's turn on symmetry so we don't have to do it twice. And the arms, hmm. on my tray we lowered it 15, so let's try that. And the legs, let's go with minus two. That's what we used on Starmish. I'm not sure that's enough. Let's undo that and let's do minus five. I think that should be fine. So, okay, that's our A pose. Let's save for now. I already saved it as a post MD, so I'm not killing my real tonic uh, developer kit. Um, and I guess we're ready to export then. So select the armature in object mode, select the body, go file, export FBX. Okay, auto, off. Selected objects, all those active and custom properties. In transform, that looks right. In geometry, that looks right. Armature, we need to shift from at leaf bones to only deformed bones. And the big animation looks right. So we need a FBX name, I guess that's fine. And we are in the tonic folder, yes, export FBX. And I have my Marvelous Designer open still, and I have my Maitreya and my Starmish here. Now, I want to show you how you can do the fit suit if you don't have Marvelous Designer 12. Uh, where you, if you have 11 or earlier, I don't know how far back it goes, but you can make the fit suit manually. So let's import our FBX. There it is. Open. And now... Just to show you, I'm going to say don't auto create the fitting suit, but I do want to open avatar and I do want my arrangement points. If it can, I'd like those added. Uh, the scale is right, centimeters dash studio. Let's try, okay. And let's see if it, it came in with the armature for sure, but let's test if our arrangement points are there. 
Well, they look okay. So I guess our A pose was not too bad. Uh, I suspect we need to fix the ankles a little bit. Uh, fixing those is just I grab that little square there and then I can move them around and then until it fits and if I want to rotate it a bit I can grab here. Um, but that's not for now. I mean that's just fiddly work for another day. And now I started I might as well fix the ankles. So somewhere around there. Okay, what I wanted to show you was how to make the fitting suit manually. So let's turn all this off again. Um, and just show you that there's no fitting suit here now. So we need to create one. And there's several different ways. I think it's in edits. In 3D garment, you can click create fitting suit here. So this little icon, this little man here, you can create fitting suit from that as well. So when you click that, you get pop-up window, I hope, here. And this one directs you to how to make your fitting suit. And I'm not sure you get these that are already sort of made in Miles Designer 11. Uh, I'm going to remake them. So up on Nick, if I don't like this one, uh, I used to be able to delete them. Okay, well anyway, um, it highlights the one you need to make. <sighs> I'm fiddling around a little bit because I've just been in Blender and the navigation here is completely different. But okay, so if you see the text there, just at my cursor, it says draw three points on the upper neck of the avatar. That's because I'm doing the upper neck measure here. So I click, click again. And when I drag out to make the third click, I see where Marvis Designer is suggesting to make the measurement. And I just want it fairly straight. So somewhere around there. Um, and now it made a measurement around there. So that's fine. Now I want to do the lower neck. I don't want to have the one that I it was suggested there, so I'll just, I click and delete, and I think in the previous ones I can right click and say delete, but apparently that's not working here. Um, I'm not sure if it's important to be straight, looking straight on the character, and I'm just doing like this. So, click, click, and click. So that's the lower neck. Mm, okay, so waist. Is down here. I don't want the one that's suggested, so delete. No, yes. <laughs> so here somewhere is the waist. Okay. Uh, now I want me to do the wrist. Left wrist. That's my left, not her left. So over here. So I delete that one. And then I make my own, if I can navigate my way over there. Something like that, I think. Okay. And because I have this on, we are doing uh, symmetry here. When I do it this way, but let's see. So there's the elbow. Now it looks right, that's weird. Okay, shoulder. Still le her left, so. There. Oh no. I think the shoulder is probably the one that's hardest to make because it really needs to be precise, so you will get some weird stretching around the breast area and up here as well. This one I'm fine with. Upper thigh. Here it's also a little bit difficult if you make the measurement all the way up here, you will get in trouble. If you go down here, then you will get the fit suit hanging down there so it's a bit of a challenge getting this right that's okay knee there and ankle here there 
Okay. Let's try apply that. Um, but as you can see, it's not as good looking as when you are getting Marlis Design to do this automatically. You have some overlap and some things that go into the body here. Because it's Marvelous Designer though, you can pull stuff. Right now there's a pin there, but if I click again, I let go. And usually it moves back and fixes itself. Um, again, we have some nipple issues. We did that on the other as well. So I think this is probably as good as it gets. We have some issues here too, but yeah, it's close to being okay. The shoulder area, I'm not too happy about. I don't know how to fix this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess you can pull it down a bit, perhaps. But when you get something that you like, something that looks sort of okay, um, I think this will do. All this. Uh, you click save. And I was designing I will work a bit and ask you where do you want to save this avatar and we are in the same Marvis designer asset folder so let me call this tonic uh, a pose and save that and I think she's here tonic and I think I can close this one now. And hopefully she should have a fitting suit now. And there you have it. And um, so I have my star mesh here. I have my Maitreya there. And I have my tonic here. So that's how you can make uh, the fitting suit um, manually. Now. I don't like the result here as much as I like uh, the automatic one. There's something here around the waist that looks weird and I don't think the chest area is that good and there's some issues here at the shoulders. It's It might work out okay, um, but I do like the auto suit much better. But it, as far as I know, it's only in Marvel's Designer 12. So if you have an earlier version this is still way better than not having a fitting suit and we still have the the arrangement points too and we should have the bonus as well so that's the way to do it if you have an earlier version of marvelous designer good that was all see you in group learning